YouTubers, Forty Cookie Forty Five, also coming to the hot lead zone, and a lot of you have been asking about getting pure lead to make shotgun slugs and muzzle loading and cap and ball revolvers, this kind of thing, because you're having trouble getting pure lead. Well, it's still possible to get dental X-ray pure lead foil from dental offices that are still using X-ray film, and a lot of them are switching to digital so that. It'll be harder and harder for this source, but there's still a fair number of offices out there. And I found out yesterday that if you go to a child's dentist, they, they call them uh, pedodontists or pediatric dentists, and they still use the lead foil x-ray packs because the patients have smaller mouths and the dental x-ray film is still better fit for the smaller patients. So you might try the, uh, the pedodontic X-ray uh, offices or, or the dental offices that are pediatric dentists. So some commenters have been saying that it's hard to use this because it takes so many of these foils to uh, to make anything out of them. And in fact, here is an example of a smaller film for children from a pediatric office. But this box is 20 pounds. So even though it takes a lot of these, they add up. And 20 pounds makes uh, uh, quite a few ingots. Speaking of ingots, here we have some. And I keep my pure lead marked with a Sharpie pen with a 100 on there, meaning pure lead. So I keep my pure lead for use to make the shotgun slugs. And pure lead is still the best for shotgun slugs. Well, some of you have been asking, why is it important to use pure lead for shotgun slugs? Well, YouTubers, you remember me reporting to you about these duplex steel shotgun slugs. And the thinking might be, well, if they're using steel to make shotgun slugs, then why do we need to worry about using pure soft lead for our slugs? We should be able to use any kind of lead because no matter how hard the lead is, it's not as hard as steel. And if steel is good, then why wouldn't any kind of lead be good for our shotgun slugs? Well, the answer to all of our questions is usually safety. And that is the reason why our factories load pure lead slugs. And the reason why Lee recommends using pure lead to cast slugs is because of safety. So, case in point, let's take our, our steel slug... And this is steel. And this happens to be a 12 gauge extra full choke for shooting handicap trap. You know about how tight these chokes are. And even with a tight choke, notice how it just slides right through. The reason why is this steel slug is sub caliber. And the way it works is that there is a polymer washer that goes in there and then also a polymer sabo that goes around the back end of the slug and this sabo is fitted for a 12 gauge bore so that this steel slug rides on a polymer cushion as it's going through the bore no problems with pressure and this slug could be made out of diamond it could be made out of tungsten carbide it could be made out of deep pleated uranium and there'll be no problems with pressure because of the sabo and the, the polymer. Now, if everyone shot slugs through an, an improved cylinder or a cylinder bore barrel, then the factories wouldn't be worried about what kind of lead or what hardness lead is being used for slugs because they would all just go right through because it's a, it is an improved cylinder bore. But the problems are that shooters don't do that. A lot of shooters, for one reason or another, will accidentally or deliberately shoot slugs through full chokes. So take this. This is a choke that's a full choke, but it's actually a little more open than full. But you take the same slug and try and go through that, and that slug is stuck in there. It won't go through. And if you take a Lee slug like this and try and, and feed that through, same thing happens. It will not go through. 
And of course, same thing with the Lyman 525 pellet slug. Try and put that through, and it won't go through a full Now, the way the factories get around that is by recommending a pure lead slug and using pure lead slug in their factory loads. If you try and shoot that through a full choke, the slug is soft enough that it will go through without pressures going too high. Same reason why Lee says use pure lead to cast these slugs. Because if we shoot them through a full choke, they will squeeze through. The gun won't blow up. So, YouTubers, what happens if we use harder lead for our shotgun slugs? Say, Brunel 18, Brunel 22, like Magnum or, or rifle lead. If we use this lead in our shotgun slugs, we could run into some real problem with pressures. Because the slugs won't pass through the wrong chokes. And if the lead is hard enough, and the degrees of choke are, are unfavorable enough, we could have some real problems with, with pressure. So, the factories want to use a soft lead for shotgun slugs, and Lee will tell you the same thing. But the questions keep coming up, can I use harder lead in my shotgun slugs? Well, practically speaking, if you use the right choke, improved cylinder or cylinder choke, you can use harder lead. But if you accidentally shoot those slugs through the wrong choke, we'll have problems. You could have problems. Through the proper choke, it's not a problem. If you know you will, you'll never shoot your slugs through the wrong choke, then by all means use the harder lead. But the factories don't want to take that chance. And certainly Lee doesn't want you to take that chance either. So that's why they recommend a softer lead. So then the question is, well, we're using these wads, right? To put our slugs in. And doesn't the wad actually help uh, protect us from pressure problems? And the answer is absolutely not. Because if this slug is too tight for the choke, this will only add more pressure. Because if, it, if the pedals are too tight, they'll strip off. But before they strip off, they're going to be raising pressure. And then the slug still has to make its way through a tighter choke, and the pressures are still there, especially if you have a hard slug. So no, these wads do not give us any protection at all. The slug passing through the choke is the only protection we have against excessive pressure. And soft lead slugs give us that protection. The hard doesn't. So, YouTubers, the best policy for slugs is to make them out of pure lead or dental x-ray lead, which is like 99% pure lead, which is plenty pure. Well, good luck out there. If you can't get pure lead uh, and you, there's no other uh, choices, you do have Rotometals, which has pure lead for sale. Or, as they used to do back in the early days of this country, is to dig the bullets out of the trees, out of the tree stumps, and reuse the lead. Bye for now.